Hello again. So back into Power BI to talk about some more M code and basic stuff. Um, here I want to discuss about if statements and how to do tests in your M code. So what we're going to do is that in this table we've been working with, uh, I'm going to want to do a simple calculations. And for example, I want to, uh, even if it makes no sense, I want to divide my profits by my discount. And why I want to do this is because first I want to test on something and second I want an error which is going to be a division by zero right so let's first add a column so you might already know that you can use custom columns and let's zoom into this and say that in this custom column that's going to be our uh, weird weird column because it doesn't make any sense right uh, we're going to want to do a, uh, a test on this operation. So for example, if uh, profits, so let's say, or, or sales or anything, let's say sales divided by discounts uh, more than zero, then it's going to be a value. So what we're doing here is that for every row of your table, you're going to do this test. So sales of that row divided by discounts of that row and then say if this result is over zero then the current column we're creating is going to have what value? Well let's say value target for example. Okay, But what happens if this is not true? If this is false? That's called a boolean encoding. Um, when you do a test for the computer, that test result is going to be true or false. And here, it's you tell it if it's true, then something. And if it's not true, so else, then it's a null. Or let's not say null because it's a it's a kind of information. So let's say empty. Okay. So what happens if I press enter here and go back on my view? Well, you can see that I have everything happening here. All right. Why is it like this? Because we don't need the operation to be valid for this to happen. We just need to have a true or false result. Okay. And so what happened is that we found a target everywhere. Why? Because everything is always over zero. All right. So now let's do something a little different. Like if uh, sales more than zero, then, and then this is where it's funny. And we're going to remake it because it's going to be easier for you to follow with me. So we're going to make our weird column. And we're going to say that if, um, sales price is more than zero, should, this should always be true, right? Then we're going to do sales uh, divided by discount. Else, um, zero <laughs> as a text, okay? And now what happens? Infinity as a result, okay, which is not very good. Uh, let's see this together. So here, infinity, 9949. So we've got some some values that are right, but we've got this weird infinity statement happening here. Uh, we obviously don't want that. So now, what do we do with this? Well, let's delete this again and recreate our custom column and create our weird column again. Okay. Um, and now what I want to do is always have a case scenario whatever happens. Uh, so if uh, let's say um, sales is greater than 2000, let's say then 3000, then big else small okay this would just return depending on the test 
but what if we do uh, then segment divided by 2 well we're gonna have an error why because segments are text and if we use text for a division obviously you're gonna have an error the problem is that this might cause issues in your report right and sometimes you might have issues with a table that's can that's gonna have like I don't know empty rows or empty informations that can ruin your test ruin your calculations right and so sometimes you're gonna need to have a base case scenario or a way to go over this issue so we're gonna do this here uh, let's go back to our custom column and see how to fix this now that we have our if statement okay so we're going to do the same thing uh, if cells uh, let's get down there cells is more than let's say 10,000 then we're going to say uh, segment divided by 2 else it's just going to be equal to cells to make it easy okay but here what we're going to do is add a layer to this okay so we're going to add the try statement so try like this is going to tell the computer I'm going to try doing this whole statement here okay so first try to see if cells are over 10,000 if it's over 10,000 then I'm gonna try to divide segment by 2 and if it's not if it's false I'm gonna return the value of the cells column okay but if this whole thing doesn't work out if there's a problem overall and it doesn't want to perform this calculation or this uh, information then otherwise and this is the keyword here otherwise we're going to return something and what I want to return is the word safe to show that now our um, whole project is safe from errors and let's do this and we can see it every time we're trying to do this wrong calculation because the test was true we have the safe keyword that's appearing sorry if I don't change the screen it's going to see much uh, so here it is, our custom uh, column now has the save keyword that is showcased. Obviously this is still an issue because your column cannot be uh, a number uh, column and you cannot do calculations so maybe we should change this so for example I could edit uh, the thing to, sh to put just zero okay and if I put zero you can now do calculations but your statistics might be off but at least you are avoiding errors in your table and this is for me very important even if you don't want to get too deep into M code so I hope this is useful um, as usual I'm just trying to share whatever I learn on or things I found interesting uh, so let me know if uh, anyone's got more ideas or things to talk about see you around